Well, Marla Thomas was a perfect guest. I mean, she was, uh, she was very good looking, very sexy, very popular, and bright. She was a feminist. She knew the issues. She could speak to them, you know, in a, in, in a wonderful, wonderful way. So I got a, I got a TV star, the producer of Free to Be You and Me, which people come up to her in airports every day. Thank you, my children. Oh, it's wonderful. The only thing they're still, you know, I'm getting it for my grandchildren. And uh, a very politically active feminist. Marlo Thomas on, coming on the Donahue show was a, is a, was a big day for us because she was essentially a triple threat. Uh, she was an extremely popular, well-known television star, having had her own series titled That Girl, which ran on ABC for five years. She was the producer of a phenomenal show business slash political event, the production and publication of the record in the book titled Free to Be You and Me, the first real mass market effort to help parents deal with gender discrimination with young people. And she got all kinds of stars to do this album for free with all proceeds going to the Ms. Foundation. Mel Brooks did a thing called uh, Gerald Wants a Doll. I think it's Gerald, you know, a, a little boy who wants a doll. Uh, and I'm a boy baby and you're a girl baby and what's the difference? And parents are people too and we have to respect our parents because sometimes, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And girls can be firemen. And you don't have, if you want to be a nurse, that's fine if you're a girl, but you can be a doctor too. All this, you know. And Harry Belafonte, he, big stars did this. So we knew her for that. And she was also a very committed, politically active feminist. You'll find her in the front row on a lot of those marches. So we got an informed political figure, a sexy, attractive, popular television star, and uh, the person who is responsible for a record that uh, I think is found on the shelves of every other house in America, really. People come up to her every day at airports and other places in public to thank her for free to be you and me. Uh, a really uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, creative expression that raised a lot of money for the f women's uh, movement and I think uh, raised a lot of consciousness not only for children, but their parents as well. So why was this an important interview for Phil Donahue? Well, uh, you know, if you're Catholic, uh, you, you know what a bad thought is. Uh, Marlo was a bad thought, and I, you know, struggled with it as best I could. Uh, when we were 14, we'd, we were instructed by the nuns to go and play basketball. Well, that was a little impractical for me. Uh, she was raised Catholic, just like me. Um, she had all the uh, stories about the nuns at Mary Mount Grammar and High School. She had eight years at Mary Mount. I'm sorry, 12 years at Mary Mount. Eight years grammar school and four years high school. Um, and her father, of course, Danny Thomas, the the comedian and uh, television producer and uh, also the man who founded St. Jude Children Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, which now has as its director of immunology a Nobel laureate. This is the hospital my father-in-law founded. Uh, so we had a lot of talk to talk about. And uh, I knew I liked her right away. I mean, she was just very, very exciting. So I called her the next day. She said, well, why don't you come? I said, where are you? She said, I'm in Houston. Isn't that close to Chicago? Um, as it turned out, we met in Denver. I said, why don't we have lunch? You know, I thought kind of a little, you know, I'm single. I'm, I'm 35, and I, I don't know what to do. You know, I, all of the old lines don't work. You know, what's your major? I mean, how do you talk? I've already been married. I have five children. Uh, so I don't know. Somehow we stumbled. I stumbled through the initial lunch. And
then a romance developed. And we were married in uh, 1980. And uh, I feel very blessed. Uh, and my kids like her. And so do my grandchildren.